Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of acute appendicitis, inflamed appendicitis with sludge in the gallbladder. You can see the fluid in the right iliac fossa, free fluid. And this fluid is very important for the diagnosis of acute appendicitis. If you see this fluid, and it is mostly seen around the inflamed appendix. So you must search for the appendix. As you have seen, I have traced the ascending colon. Now this is the cecum. And if you sweep the probe around this area, you can find the inflamed appendix. Now you can see the fluid around these gut loops. The pathophysiology of acute appendicitis usually involves appendicellular obstruction with continuous mucinous fluid secretion and bacterial proliferation within the lumen of the appendix. As such, a fluid to mucus filled appendix is recognized as a sign of acute appendicitis at CT. You can see the free fluid seen around the area of the inflamed appendix and the right iliac fossa. And this is the this is the inflamed appendix. Most often healthcare professionals suspect the diagnosis of appendicitis based on the symptoms, the medical history and a physical examination. A doctor can confirm the diagnosis with an ultrasound, x-ray or MRI. Now you can see the inflamed appendix is visible and the gut loops around this inflamed appendix has a small a minimum amount of free fluid seen. Sonograph sonographic criteria for the diagnosis of appendicitis include a non-compressible blind ended blind ended aperistaltic tubular structure in right lower quadrant arising from the base of the cecum. The appearance is hyperechoic with an eco-pore abscess surround the appendix. There may be a reflective momentum around the appendix, a thickened bowel and enlarged lymph nodes. Asymmetrical wall thickness may indicate perforation. Asymmetrical wall thickness indicates perforation. An ultrasound examination is to per, is performed to evaluate for acute appendicitis. Graded compression ultrasound of the right lower quadrant will reveal a non-compressible enlarged appendix. If the bowel wall layers, particularly the ecogenic submucosa, is lost, it is suggestive of perforation. Now again, you can see the whole length of the inflamed appendix. The appendix is a small pouch-like sac of tissue that is located in the first part of the colon, that is cecum, in the lower right abdomen. Lymphatic tissue in the appendix aids in immune function. The official name of the appendix is vermiform appendix, which means worm-like appearance. The appendix harbors bacteria. The causative agents involved are gut masses, foreign bodies, trauma, intestinal worm infestation, lymph adenitis and most commonly calcified fecal deposits that are known as appendicolith or fecolith. Now incidentally this patient also has 
a significant amount of thick sludge and sand, sand particles in the gallbladder and now you will see the gallbladder has a significant amount of thick sludge in the neck and body of the gallbladder. When acute appendicitis is suspected, scan the patient lying supine and select the high power probe that is from 7 to 11 megahertz transducer. You may put a pillow under both knees to have the abdomen of the patient relaxed and then you will search a blind ending, blind ending tubular structure arising from the cecum. First of all, we will identify the ascending column. Then one has to scan inferiorly to localize the cecum. The first part of the colon, and then one can see the appendix. If you sweep the uh, sweep the probe around in the adjacent area of the cecum, you can see the in inflamed appendix. Now you can see the significant amount of thick sludge is seen in the neck and body of the gallbladder so the colon will have the hosta which will differentiate it from the small bowel you can see the hosta in the long axis view. So the presence of inflammatory fluid around the appendicular area is an important sign. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.